What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Mortal Kombat. I'm Mills Krausting, and we're going to be doing something a little different today besides playing games. Uh, for those that have followed me for the longest time, who, you know, either, you know, watched my videos of my Mugen playthroughs, or even just chilling with Angel on his channel with the Fatal Dream Team. Something for the longest time I've always loved about fighting games was the stages I fought on, the arenas, how cool it is to fight at this place. And of course, the music that would play. For those that you know known me, you know through my videos, my Mugen videos, I know I've mentioned this every uh, every now and then in those videos. Like Styx is a good example because he's the one that you know would take rec recommendations for me, and he would like add a song or a stage that I liked, and he'll you know make it for a Mugen. So this is a project I've been wanting to do for the longest time, and I at first it was going to be maybe separate, like in each different game like mk1 stages only or mk2 stages but it was supposed to lead up to the release of m1k uh, last last year mk1 you know the, the reboot but um fortunately couldn't get to it and i just thought you know let's just do it now let's just not just do like each game but let's do like the original trilogy first and if you guys like this tier list um please let me know in the comments and i can maybe do the 3d era games next you know all those stages so a little disclaimer too of course um this is my opinion this is what I think is cool, what stage I like, and I'm going to rate them to how I like them. You know, like the state, you know, the stage itself, the design, the music, the lore behind the stage. So it's just based on my opinion. And of course, if you guys have your own list that, you know, that y'all would make or, you know, what y'all think stages should be and what tier, what y'all think should be bottom. Um, let me know in the comment section or make your own video and I'll check those out and I'll check out your opinion on y'all's favorite stages. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this shit underway. Fight. Um, so, let's go ahead and start with the MK1 stages. Um, we can go ahead and start with the courtyard itself. So, this is the opening stage here. I'm going to just put it right here, but I'm not going to move it yet. So this this is the opening stage you you put it in that quarter and boom it's right there so i wasn't there for the arcade days of course but every time i load up any mk1 like game and you know i just want to play some mk1 like you on my arcade one up right here to have next to me this is the first stage i see very iconic it's the it's the opening stage to anything and all mk and you can see shang sung in the background all the the monks and the music's pretty dope the music's pretty all right um, I would, you know, so I would put this in the A tier because it's, it's just iconic. And it's the first thing you see when, you know, when you pick, you know, Sub-Zero or Liu Kang, you know, whoever, you know, this is the first thing you see. So it's very iconic. I would definitely put it in the A tier. All right. Second M uh, MK1 stage. We're going to do, um, uh, the Palace Gates. Um, nothing too crazy to do. I, I do like, um... The Asian aesthetics, the detail in the stage, um, the temple in the background, and of course, the uh, Pac-Man Easter egg on to the far right of this uh, the stage. If you know, if you guys know, you know. Um, nothing too much going on here. I'd say it's just a just a normal, you know, okay stage. I think it's I think it's pretty right. So I think I'll keep it right here in D tier. I might rearrange a little bit just based on you know what, but I think it's perfect the way it is right here. Just then too crazy but then too dumb it's just it's a nice little stage i like fighting here it's very very sick stage okay uh next oh the pit Ooh, the pits okay this is where uh stage fatalities were kind of introduced they weren't like official stage fatality but it's like it's the first one and the way the reason why i say it's not the official official because it doesn't say fatality when you knock him into the pit very 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 iconic it's i remember it's it was like my first fatality obviously because at, at the time when i was according to my dad i was three playing starting you know, playing mortal kombat <laughs> you know who in the right mind would let their three-year-old sons get into mortal kombat you know <laughs> growing up <laughs> but um it's my first fatality that's i remember being like oh you know <laughs> you know like oh no you know like he, he died i remember the spikes and everything but like the song the dun dun uh, it's it, it, it's such a good stage. I'm I I love my stages, especially that have pits. So we're gonna put pit S here because it was my first fatality, like ever. And it's 
I always looked forward to finding a stage. You know, as a kid, because I was like, okay, this is the only fatality I knew, and once we got here, I could show it off, you know, in front of my you know, my family at the time. <laughs> so, simple, but yet iconic. That's going right up here. Probably a little more than this, so I'll put that right here. So, good stage, good stage. Um, The pit bottom. Pit bottom. What can I say? It pretty much, you fall, you get right down here into the spikes. <laughs> And very gory too so this is also the same stage you fight a uh, reptile secret reptile in here seeing all these bodies and you know the blood and the gore like this was this was more combat you know like the, you know more combat known for its violence and gore but this you know this is cool so we're gonna put this right so we'll put it right here because you know you, you don't fight on it all the time but it's it's the same it's the same area. Just like I just love this whole area. This whole area is my favorite area in uh, MK1. So good stuff. Um, then I'm gonna come over here to Shang Tsung's palace. Um, it's weird that you don't fight Shang Tsung here. I and I've always thought that too. So that's why I liked it when uh, MK9 got released. Like it was cool that we got to fight him here in this in his uh, throne room. Because I feel like this is where like the final battle show took place. You know, besides Goro's lair over here. I mean, it's still cool. It was, you know, it's still like, you know, Shang Tsung is like, nah, you know, screw you. You know, I'm, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna beat that out of here. You know, like he, cause Goro was supposed to kill you, kill you, right? And Shang Tsung was like, all right, cool, you know. And I guess in, in desperation, you know, he jumps into the Goro's there to fight you. So I, it makes sense in lore and in, in the lore. But uh, Shang Tsung's palace, it's it's a pretty okay stage. Um, like I said, I like the Asian details, the golden dragons, the red the aesthetics of it so i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna keep this right here it's a it's an okay stage i like i like i like the stage uh, i'll fight on it and be like okay cool and it's all right but you know preferably fighting i would fight on these instead so these are my favorite stages but we'll keep the we'll keep this one under pass gates because this one's more than this one all right so next mq1 stage is of course goro's lair okay so um this is where you fight goro and this is where oh man this is so cool it sucks that they took this out in MK Trilogy. Like, they had the stage, but they took out all, like, the, the special details. Like, the eyes glowing in the background. The sound... Oh, man. Okay, so the sounds of Goro stomping in. Like, when you're fighting that Endurance 3 battle, um, you're fighting there, and you hear just Goro. As you're winning, or you're on the last final round, you can hear Goro stomping in the background. Like, he's he's coming. He's gonna come kick you, you know, kick your ass, you know? <laughs> so this was really cool. And just seeing the skeleton and everything and shit. Like this was this was peak you know like oh you know something's gonna happen you're, you're right there by goro and then he makes his appearance so you, this is where you, you fight also shang sung like i said you know for this stage um very very good stage another iconic one to the franchise it appears in multiple games uh that came out in the future just so good mk4 uh armageddon uh mk11 so i would put this stage I'm 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 kind of on the fence between A and S, but just because of the special effects of you know leading up to Goro's entrance, it's got to go here. It's got to go in S. It's awesome. <laughs> like so, I will put it right here. Definitely right here. All right, next uh, stage we'll be doing the Warrior Shrine. So this, like, it's the Warrior Shrine. It has all the the warriors on it. You know, it's just representing all the characters that are in the game. And from the lore aspect. It's weird that it's all the stages take place on Shang Tsung's island, you know, right? But it's weird that we have these all these characters in in Bolden the statue. That all these people, because it's a big tournament, you know, warriors from Earth Realm and then outward of fighting, you know, for the fate of the world, you know. And so did these, did all these people like okay Goro, of course, you know, Goro being cemented as you know the big dog on the island. But then you got like the other warriors like Liu Kang, Kano, like correct me if I'm wrong, right? Like, you know, if there's if there's lore I'm missing, obvi obviously let me know in the comments down below. Like, hey, crowd, you dummy. This is this is why, you know. Yeah, let me know. Of course, let me know all that stuff. But here, like, I was like, it's weird. It's weird. But like, it's still a cool stage. It's still one of the best stages to fight on. But I, I think for me, that's that's like number one for me. It's like, well, you know, like, you know, I think about it. I was like, why are they there? Um, It's not an okay stage. It's definitely my favorite stage like one of my favorite stages to fight on so i would put this over the courtyard a tier easily easily one of the coolest stages to fight on 
So that should be all the MK1 stages. Heck yeah. So you guys made it this far. Listen to my weird opinions about stages. <laughs> I applaud you. I know I'm, I'm not the best to listen to sometimes. You know, but we are here. We are doing this tier list. Okay, cool. So let's get on to MK2. Let's do the pit two. Um, I know a lot of people love the pit two. Simply, you know, you know the falling, you know, the animation of them, you know, switching from two D to like bird view, like side two D to like bird view of them falling, and that's cool. That's like that's a cool effect. I think honestly, without that, it would have been stuck here in B T B tier because in my pit stages, I want something to be there waiting at the bottom. Not just nothing. Like it's still brutal dying, but it's better if we see something crazy happening down. Like, like you know, like the pit three, for example, with the spinning blades that will come up. Like, oh, that's cool. It's it doesn't make sense, but it's cool. In Mortal Kombat, it nothing ever makes sense in Mortal Kombat, right? So, <laughs> like, so like the fatalities, like you know that we'll get to in a future video. Like, I don't want to get started with the fatalities, but this this was cool. This is a cool stage too, and you see a uh, horn buckle and Blaze fighting in the background, which we didn't know of of yet the, the mystery of those two fighters was intriguing you know like we wanted to know so that's what helps it so i'm gonna put this above the warrior shrine it's a great stage to fight on you very blue you know i love my blue stages you know a lot yeah. <laughs> once again those that follow i love the blue color you know it's the theme of my channel it's gonna be right here right right here in a um or actually yeah so what 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 kind of hurts it for me was the the stage fatal but the the animation is cool so i'll definitely put this over the warrior shrine so this is this is a nice spot for me the portal stage ooh the portal stage um this portal in this stage takes you back to the mk1 stage stages well 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 to the mk1 Goro's layer stages back to the Shang Tsung Zana is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so you fight here and this is where you fight the characters. So this in Lore Rise leads to back to Earth Realm, essentially, but here to fight the secret characters. So um, it's a it's a really cool stage. It's you know, a lot of orange. <laughs> the, the two shadow freeze. <laughs> no, no, but like the, the the song's cool, like the soundtrack for it's awesome. Um I will put this Oh, the lightning too, the lightning in the background, right, too, like when the, the portal just rotating, the lightning shooting in the background, it's sick. So I would put this, um, I would say it's an okay stage, but the portal, light in the background is cool. Let me see, between the warrior shrine and the portal, I would rather fight at the warrior shrine, so... But it's a it's a definitely better than an okay stage just for the effects alone. So it's gonna go right here. Next up is the tower. It's a cool it's a cool cool uh, stage. The clouds shooting in, in the background. You know it's a nice uh, aesthetic between like Asian and otherworldly. You know like it's it's cool look like it's a cool little blend. But personally for me it's it's an okay stage. I don't think it's like one of the best stages to look at when I'm fighting in my fighting games. But it is definitely better looking than the palace gates. But this is this stage is also one of like the least stages, you know, like for me to fight on in MK2. So I, I, I least look forward to this one, but it's not a bad stage. It's not something like C or even D, you know, I would say. It's definitely right here as okay. It's like, you know, I'm not gonna like hate it if I fight it. It's just what it is. Uh, wastelands, ooh, wastelands. The song, like the the music choice they use for this, the the purple background. This is this was Outworld. This was Outworld. The bodies uh, in the background too, like impaled, sticking up, you know, with the spears. When you think about the lore too of it too, like this is like probably like where Endenia fell. Like this was the main battle that you know showed whether Endenia would win or lose, and you know we know the outcome unfortunately for Endenia. So this was the final aftermath. And it's cool seeing it, you know, seeing it here, like the leftovers from it. We're fighting here in the stage. So um That this stage is an A tier for me. And I'm trying to I'm on the fence of whether putting it right here and in, in front of Pit 2 or right here. I would say maybe here. Cause I at least have an option here to do a fade stage fatal. So they're they're tied. They're tied for me here. But 
I'd prefer to fight here more on this stage than this stage, but this stage is really fucking cool. <laughs> really freaking cool, so we'll keep that there. Khan's Arena, and one of my favorite villains of all time, not just in Mortal Kombat, but just everywhere in, gen in general. It might be just a biased opinion, but <laughs> Shao Kahn is the baddie. <laughs> the main baddie. He is a fucking cool boss. <laughs> a cool boss to look at, fight, everything. Like, he's annoying to fight, but like... And this is arena, his arena with Kano, Sonya trapped. This is where you fight, you know, uh, Kintaro. A really fucking cool stage. So at that note, it is going up here. And as far as where it's gonna go, and like, you know, this makes for good wallpaper too for like a you know desktop. Like it's it's so cool seeing Shao Kahn just sitting there watching you know these warriors fight, you know, for their fate you know of their realm you know so it's, it's so cool i will put this oh man like <laughs> gore's there is cool too i'll put it right here wait oh here we'll move that here there we go i like it a little bit more better than goro's lair as con as iconic as goro's lair is i'm putting it right here because it's it's con's arena man it's so awesome but this is still cool um the combat tomb it's it's cool it's a cool stage i do like this the stage fatal you knock him up into the ceiling boom impaled spikes um i like the the yeah the the detail i remember the skulls you know the bridge itself you know that you fight on and or balcony whatever it is and then you see the pterodactyls flying i say it's an a stage so a stage for me but i think for the stage fatal alone because i love stage fatals too because you know i love my stages but i love my stage fatals too as well and on the look on it based on the look of it I'm gonna put it right here under Warrior Shrine. I think that's a good spot for it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. Alright, moving on. The Living Forest. The stage where Smoke and Jade spy on you in MK2. <laughs> and all the all the hungry trees. And man, and I'm glad that we finally got this in Shaolin Monks eventually, and of course eventually in MK9 in the in the mainline game. I've always wanted to throw, like, somebody into the tree and watch the tree eat somebody. As, as morbid as that sounds, just seeing the, t uh, the tree just chomp on somebody's butt, you know? Like, damn. <laughs> it's, it sucks that we didn't have that, but I'm pretty sure maybe it was an idea that was passed around by, uh, you know, it's probably the limitations of the hardware back in the day so it was probably hard to even animate something like that happening in mk2 so but i am judging it right now for when it, when it was released at the time and the sound design for the trees and the music like used for it it's such a great such a great uh stage like something you would definitely see in outworld too along with the other stages we've came across so it's not a b stage because it's definitely a cool stage to once again look at and I always look forward to seeing these. I will put this right here or right here. Yeah, just you know the the roars of the trees, the room, the room. You know, like it's very like what's that word I'm looking for? Like it's scary, ominous. There you go. It's it's very ominous. Like you hear that in the distance like or like hear that in the stage as you're fighting when you you know beat up somebody and then you know it's just you know sub zero wins and then just no music just oh, oh. i don't know it's like it's it, you know at the kid you know, at, at the time when i was a kid like it was just whoa you know it's, it's it's spooky so i liked it so it's going right here the deadpool once again one of those stages where i don't know like i don't know how it was at the arcade you know i know like but i know once i i hit put that quarter in my machine you know <laughs> The arcade one up i start this is the first stage i see and god damn what a stage it's not much to look at but just the acid pit you know like back to the pits again you know <laughs> back to the you know the pits of in my stages like this this was it knocking somebody into the the, the deadpool and then watching you know their the fucking what a skeleton i should say just come out from the acid and floating away in the all <laughs> bro this stage was awesome and then the chains and everything so sick it's like i said it's not much to look at but just like the music too, how like dark, mysterious that music is, like, do 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 do, right? You know, like it's it's good. <laughs> it's such a good stage, so much that it's one of the stages I look forward to fighting on the most, which is all here, right here, right? 
it's a stage fatality and it's a fatality I really like so we'll put this and it's cool because right after Khan's Arena like you know how it goes in stage orders right after Khan's Arena it goes right back into you know Deadpool so it starts over so back to back bangers of stages right here so Deadpool one of my favorite most iconic stages of all time and I'm glad that we I'm glad that we got it in MK11 like it was cool to see it like revitalized in MK11 all right, so we got MK2. We still have MK2 stage. Okay, so we got this one right here. And I think, let me see. Um, That should be all the MK2 stage. So this is our last one. This might be our last, uh, I think this is our last MK2 stage. Okay, so hopefully I'm not missing anything. And if I am, please let me know how much of an idiot I am in the comments. <laughs> why, why cryo? How could you? How could you, you fake fan? <laughs> um, Let's see, armory. Dude, the, the soundtrack, I think this might be my favorite song. I remember it was at the time. I know it. Was, every time this banger came on, it's so, it's so good. It's so freaking good. The army stage is probably where all the outward soldiers were, you know, making their weapons and stuff. The lava in the background, you know, that, that, you know, that forged the weapons. It's a really cool stage. Not my favorite stage, but the song does help it. The song helps. And of course, I, I'm, I'm a weapons guy. I love, you know, cool medieval, you know weapons you know so something that fit that vibe was good and of course the the big symbol in the background so i'm gonna put this where the a's are at and man this did the detail to a lot of these stages like just the world of mk2 was so good so armory um i will put this i'm gonna put this right here under the warrior shrine right here because the warrior shrine is still one of those iconic stages and this can go right after it. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that decision. I'm very happy with that decision. All right, moving on. Um, we are doing MK3. So this is the last of the stages. All right. So let's go ahead and start filling the D out, right? The D has been kind of left. Personally, these are the stages from MK Trilogy. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these out of the way. I don't, I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It's just reused. And a reused pit stage from MK2 and a reused stage from the iconic pit stage. Like it's just stars, you know, like with the with the background look <laughs> like you can see the moon and the stars. That's like smoke's uh fatality from MK3 <laughs> with the the world exploding. <laughs> like they're I mean they're nice stages to look at, but like they're I mean they're just reused. And and I know the N64 you know version has them in. Like that's the only version that has them in, you know. I don't see them in the PS1 version. So it's just there, just whatever to me. I have no opinion on them other than that they're just reused like i don't hate them i don't love them they're just they're just here <laughs> so all right cool so um let's go ahead and get down to business shall we so let's start with scorpion's lair stage vitality already off the bat so cool and this is hell dude freaking hell we're fighting in hell <laughs> and with the with the the background with the the gateway which is a, a skull with the mouth opening so freaking cool dude a really cool stage and of course the skeletons in the background so this is already s tier s tier uh s tier stage from god damn i can't spoke <laughs> so um i just love the idea like the fighting here you know where scorpion you know resides in and this is where scorpion takes Quan chi you know in mk4 <laughs> so all in all really cool stage um i would put this it's not like Goro's Lair level is cool with the sounds, the background, you know, give you that iconic moment. But it's definitely going to go right here. Like, it's a cool stage I'm really looking forward to, like, over this stage. So, really cool stage. All right, so, Chicago front area. It's, eh, it's a below average stage. I, like, I, I see, come on, it's, it's been right up. So, this is okay. So, MK3 does have a lot of stages that aren't, like, boom. Because we go from Outworld mk2 mk2 you know all this all these visuals the these sounds and just the way mk2 looked to where mk3 looked and i'm not, I'm not gonna hate it like it's it's c doesn't necessarily mean bad like this d for me means bad like i don't care c it's like and eh, it could have been better like there could have been more done to it but it's also not the design choice it's not the fault of it because you think about it this way we're not fighting mk2 anymore like we're trying to save we're trying to save, you know, the monks from out, you know, MK2 from Outworld. And we're on their turf. Now they're on our turf. Not on Shang Tsung's turf. Our turf. Earthworm's turf. So we're fighting for the fate of the world in our own turf. So, of course, you know, it's just <laughs> it's just America. It's just, you know, very small. I mean, they could have used different, like, parts of the world. So we could show, like, hey, 
you know the whole world is fighting for its life you know also it's like you know we're going from mk2 a lot to look at mk3 which we see you know in our normal lives all the time you know it's just a regular city but there are some cool things that happen and we'll get to that like this stage cyrex you know cyrex being buried which is so cool like it's related to cyrex's ending you know cyrex being trapped in the background in uh jade's desert so and it's cool that they brought that into mk annihilation you know which i'm gonna say it right now my guilty pleasure mk annihilation one of the my most favorite movies to watch of all time <laughs> um it's definitely gonna be here in the bees but it's gonna be right here underneath the warrior shrine because of the aesthetics of the warrior shrine the lost the song they use for the lost stage is awesome i love this stage it's a really cool stage i don't love it where it's gonna be like all the way the freak up here you know right but it's gonna be right here for now uh what can i say it's a nether portal stage um we already have this portal and we have a nether portal stage coming up too so just portals everywhere but that's just that's just the neat the theme right of mortal kombat just portals everywhere <laughs> um very basic but it's cool it has a cool soundtrack to it too and, and it's a blue color you know me you know me i love my blue colors <laughs> my fucking blue colors um but it is almost like a reused version of this stage so i'm gonna keep it right here because i do like it i do like would like to fight here more than this stage but definitely i would fight what would want to fight here more than this stage actually Ooh, no, because Cyrax, Cyrax, Cyrax being buried in the sand saves it. <laughs> so we'll keep that there. This stage, like I, okay, yeah, if y'all remember what I said about this Khan's Arena, this one's just as cool. He's a little too far, personally for me. He's like, he's like all the way in the fuck back. <laughs> but just the cave area, it's a cave. I, like, who knows where this cave is at? Maybe it's some sort of secret hideout that, you know, Khan comes to every now and then to like speak of the meetings you know or whatever but that's what we have a uh, cons tower for but yeah who knows what this place but like i said any lore masters out there can tell me the the significant significance of this stage you know maybe tap mock knows for sure but it's also a freaking cool stage to look at right the the, the the con gargoyle in the background you know of his throne you know the entrance leading down to the fight arena and here it leads to the stage of hell right and it's connected it's a cool stage to look at and this is connected so i like it just a little a little bit more than that goro's lair moment because i want to see goro's lair all the time so they're kind of tied like you know they're, they're they're tied together of like coolness the cool factor we're gonna put a gun to my head and say which stage which stage pick now like immediately i'll just snap finger i'll pick this stage because this stage i loved i love this stage a lot <laughs> So we'll put that there but it's definitely not going to beat these guys these guys are like top four right here so top five right here for me all right okay we'll do that i love this stage it's just the detail like just looks just the way it looks you know like i said this is mine this is mine this is mine this is mine <laughs> but anyway let's do all right this one right so like i said this is another portal stage i like it for its fun like it has the the choose your destiny towers in the background and it's cool like it's cool portal stage. it has like the, the, the iconic electricity so i would assume this is the portal that all the outworld mercenaries will come from like the extermination squads i feel i i imagine this portal being the entrance from 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 here into here and they come out attacking earthrim here this day this uh long bridgeway i can't explain <laughs> but like i said this is like a, just a fun stage to like look at and see and it's where you fight uh smoke hidden smoke I would put this. I would put this. I just like the look of it, right? Lower rise. I'm not sure lower rise, but because with MK2, you can tell. For me, it's definitely gonna go. It's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Pause. Uh, but it's really. Uh, I'm stuck between putting him right here or putting this stage right here. Well, once again. If you were ask me what where I want to fight on most, here, here, man, that's hard. It's, this is really hard. I'll put this right here. I, I think it'll be right here. It might, it might move later. I might change my mind, but we'll put, we'll put you right here over the wasteland stage. And you know what? No, actually, nah, because of the lore. We gotta remember the lore, the Adenian War. Okay, we'll put, okay, this is my final spot right here. Because I do like it a little bit more than the Warrior Shrine. Remember, it goes with the lore too. Like, 
why are they there you know so this is good this is a good stage <laughs> so we'll put that there um the bank as simple as the bank is to a lot of people it's cool dude like like i said there's gotta be something going on in the background too right in in the earth realm stages and this cons tower or skyscraper whatever you want to call it fortress there you go cons fortress right sorry that's the, that's actually the proper term my bad my bad it's one of my favorite pieces to look at in all of mk history like just it's so cool it's so ominous so threatening so like evil you know <laughs> and just to see that like you know in a building and this nice like mysterious and ominous and dark like song playing you know in this area just empty void of any human life you know it's it's personally one of my favorite stages to fight on so i love the fighting the stage god tier for me s tier like it's it's one of the stages i look forward to when i play mk3 it's just that ominous alone like i just love that all right and it leads us right to the rooftops same thing but we got the gargoyles we got the whole thing going on and honestly this you know what no because it's just like a bunch of skeletons lava and everything like that but i i just love love this area so much and it's hard it's really hard honestly because goro's lair damn as as I, iconic as that is i just love fighting on these stages like these two like because you fight here and uppercut them boom you're right here it's just so good to me like these these are good these are really good like these are like my fit like i said this is my list these are my favorite stages like to fight on like no matter what you know we're making a game we're picking these stages like you know fast you know if we're not doing random these are the stages i want to go to just the iconic con fortress like it's my favorite thing i might actually get this tattooed at some point someday and i'll definitely you guys will definitely be like one of the first to know besides the fatal dream all right anyway balcony don't care too much for it um like i said it's not much going on you do fight motaro this is motaro's place and it's uh it's an okay stage like i don't know there's a because when you fight here we'll get to here but the soul chamber when you fight here you uppercut cut them and you're here back in the stage so it, it loops mk3 you kind of loop here for a while you fight here you fight here and you fight here which is cool stage fight here here and here and then so if you <laughs> If you accidentally knock the opponent into the balcony, then you're stuck into this loop. And <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, it's an okay stage, right? It's got Motaro statue and everything. So we'll leave that here. But, you know, not, not too much to say about it. Because I want to start talking about this one. And this one is not not too much to look at. It's just a regular street, you know. It's still, you know, still a decent stage to fight on. But I'll definitely fight in this, this stage more than this stage, these two stages. But, like, this stage meh like there's more more cool stages to fight on right here <laughs> the, there are better options here than these two stages especially this one so i get tired of seeing this one this one's okay you know it does have some cool appeal to it some decent cool up here this is just you know so what we see every day when you wake up right especially if you're in chicago right <laughs> this is what you see all the time <laughs> so the song's cool so um now the soul chamber stage easily one of my favorite mk stages of all time and it's definitely going to go somewhere up here, right? One of my favorite MK stages of all time. I don't know. It might be my most favorite ever. The song, too. Just the, the music. How, like, like dark, you know? Like, I know I keep saying this for, like, some of the other MK stages. But, like, the ominous, you know, dark. and You know, the, the drums, you know? You know, like, it's it's so good, dude. And it's somewhere out here in Earthrealm, right? Like, con made this or maybe it's hidden somewhere like i said lore masters out there let me know in the comments and i don't know my first fatality was here but like what okay what does hurt it is when you do uppercut okay so we go back to the balcony right if i accidentally uppercut them you're right here so gameplay rise right so i don't know i would say just for the aesthetics alone it does beat deadpool or not actually they're tied okay so deadpool and soul chamber for me are tied so i'll definitely put it right here um cons arena sitting right here so this is it right now so all right um bell tower um the spikes the dozen floors when you knock them up and they come crashing down 
boom, 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 boom. It's <laughs> giant spikes out of nowhere. That is fucking awesome. <laughs> and it's blue, blue background, you know? So like I said, it's not much, not, not a big stage to look at, but like just a secret surprise at the end. Boom, easily one of my favorite stages to fight on. One of my most favorite stages. Like I, I look forward to this stage too, a lot. Another, ooh, another banger. It's got, oh my god, such a pretty stage, guys. <laughs> come, come the fuck on, dude. <laughs> this, is a, this is a little bit hard. This is it's getting a little bit hard. We're running out of S spaces. It, it might just grow, but. Um, it's just the, man, the music, the, the beauty of the temple. I just, man, dude, you know what? And I remember playing on SNES. It's a bringer, it's. <laughs> I'm getting hit by a nostalgic wave right now. <laughs> just how just by how cool this is. Um oh, I'm stuck. I don't know if I want to do A or you know what? S alone. Okay, okay, we'll put this. Yeah, we'll put this over hell. No 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> you say I love my I love my stages, guys. I love my arenas. Like this is <laughs> this is really hard. Um Okay, so we'll keep right here. Like I said, some of these images are subject to change. So for now, we'll just leave that for, like right there for right now. So this is I'm very happy with this. <laughs> okay, so graveyard, doom, doom, like right here in the background. Doom, doom, doom. Nice little Easter eggs. It's not, it's not one of my favorite stages to fight on, but I like the, the aesthetics of it. I'm gonna put this right here in B. It's an okay stage, but. We still got better ones here, like really cool ones. I, I do, like I said, I do like the Easter eggs. I think it definitely puts it above the average stages for me, which is like to me are average to me. Um, but here, I think it's a nice spot. Graveyard's pretty okay. Noob's Dwarfin. Mm, meh, you just remove the, uh, the assets. So we get this secret stage where you fight MK3 Kane. Well, Noob Cybot, but it's just uh, all black silhouette of uh, Kano. Or, and of course in the future title like UMK3 you get the ninja and noob cybot here um it's definitely cooler it's definitely cooler than these two stages but it's also a stage I eh I mean we fight here we fight here it's whatever this this is just a little bit more better and it's still the back of me so and it's alright like what's in this pit it's it leads to it leads to this okay I can't remember it leads to the soul chamber but once again like I said meh like this is more to look at this eh meh <laughs> i'll still rather fight here than here yes the street like i said this this tower this the con's fortress man so good so good it's like we're fighting on the street so this is still a little more cool to look at because we're just fighting the street but just i like the areas here versus just fighting on this on the street down here below but still cool nevertheless right here perfect very perfect <laughs> absolutely all right two more stages guys boom boom my this is my, my personal but this is my list once again guys this is my list <laughs> and you guys are oh my god why why would you put mk2 stages down here <laughs> these stages suck no <laughs> like i said guys this is my list and this dude the dark scary song like it just man like this is like Sh shao khan back then to me was one of the most toughest like battles to fight like at the kid, it was like one of my first bosses, like in period in general, in video games. Like every other boss game I fought, you know, like in Crash games or Spyro games, you know, some of these other games, like they're like meh to me, you know. But like I remember this being the challenge. I think MK3 or Ultimate MK3 were my favorite um, games for to play on the SNES, and Khan was just a fucking force to be reckoned with for me. I cry all the time if I lose. Like God, you know, Dan, you know, dang it, you know. <laughs> And this was the area when you, when you beat him in this area, oh, it just it feels phenomenal. Also, to mention, you know me and my pit stages, right? This man, this, just this alone, like the pit, the spinning spikes. Like I said, there's something going on in the bottom, right? You don't know what it is, and once until you knock them in, boom, this is it right here. This is the stage. So we're gonna put you. Who uh? Man, it's so good. Uh, it's really uh, it's like some of these MK3 phases because MK3 is also one of my favorite Mortal Kombat games, you know. Oh, like or the favorite Mortal Kombat game because just because of the gameplay, but also like the style of it too. I would say 
for me to fight on personally, it's gonna be it's gonna be right here. It's gonna be right here. Yeah, this is a nice spot right there. The subway, the train. I I can't get over how iconic that is. That's just for uh, for MK3 standards. Like this, like you knock them in, boom, train. <laughs> so so cool, unexpected. But yeah, it's like well, it's expected, but like. Just to see it happen, you know, in your gameplay and your stage fatality, it's so good. So good stuff, good stuff, <laughs> all around. So yep, here we go. So um, uh, uh we'll put this. Uh, Gor is it Goro's Lair good? No. Okay, so we'll put this right here, and then we'll move this right here, because I like the spikes, but the train is cool too as well. So they're tied. Okay, so this is the list of the original. MK trilogy game uh, stages arenas. This is my list, and let's do a quick run through. Yeah, that's iconic. That I right hear fighting con here. These these I, I know for sure are tied. These two are tied, but they are all like these are my favorite stages to fight on. Like, if we're gonna pick a stage to fight on, I would definitely pick one of these as one of my first choices. And it's hard for me, you know, because I, I play in, especially on MK3. I I fought on these a lot, but nothing will ever for me. Beat the, this most iconic stage. I remember seeing it for the first time. Doing my the easiest way to do it, the stage challenge is just uppercut them, and they fall into the spikes right here in the bottom. And just seeing this grotesque look, this scary look, you know, of the pit, you know, like this right here is just like one together. Awesome arena, and then not these, but not these. But so, all right, I, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty okay with this list. I like this list a lot, and like I said, these, these aren't bad stages these aren't bad stages it's these that c and d's i don't care about like these i would rather not fight on all like, they're just whatever i mean if you pick it, it's whatever but me personally these over these but meh these are the and these are okay okay stages you know but these these are good so once again this is my uh tier list this is my personal opinion my my favorite stages if, like i said if you guys have different ideas of where y'all want y'all stages or what y'all think is a better stage you know please let me know in the comment section down below make y'all or maybe make y'all's own tier list i'll definitely save it for y'all yeah uh, for you you know for y'all to like search up and then find it's going to be just like all stages from the mk trilogy games like so very pretty much the very first three games that came out so um hopefully you guys enjoyed watching um thank you guys for tuning in once again i'm your host Krausty, and i'll catch you guys on the flip side <laughs>